Oh, what's up, everybody? This is Afro Joe here, and uh, I, I'm just want to say this shit straight off the bat because I think it was just straight bullshit on how things blew up out of fucking proportion because on how dumb the situation was. Now I always tell people, like I wrote a status on my Facebook. I wrote a few of them saying I'm not a fucking lawyer or a fucking police officer or a fucking Dr. Phil. So I'm saying this because I'm not none of these people and I tell people I'm telling these status I will show you these status saying I'm saying I don't I, I can't like I tell them uh, I can't get your kids back because I got several friends that child's been taken away from and it's getting to a point where it bugged the hell out of me that I wrote several status saying I can't get your kids back and for this one woman, for this one woman, she went, she actually tried to get whatever, trying to, get, I like, I can get her kids back for her, but I can't. Now, I'm going to show you this status where I'm talking about, I'm showing it, where I'm telling these people, I cannot get your kids back, and I will show you this status. Because it's getting on my nerves where this woman thought I can get her kids back. Now here's the status right here. Look people, I'm not Dr. Phil. You see the status saying, I can't get your kids back. And this is done on the 8th of November. I'm telling this on the 8th of November that I can't get your kids back. That's just one of them said I can't get your kids back but I'm not Dr. Phil now y'all saw that piece of evidence now I'm going to show you another one now I'm saying it again on a different another day this is a few days later look I'm saying it again I'm not a Dr. Phil I'm not a lawyer I'm not a cop I'm not a stand up comedian I hate prank call I'm saying all this saying all this and this is on the 10th this is on the 10th that's on the 10th of this month I'm writing these statuses saying I can't get your kids back now my, now my wisdom teeth is bothering me and this has happened Sunday this is going on. So this is sun. This is Sunday when I wrote a status saying, "This is what I'm saying. My teeth hurt. I'm not feeling good. And talking to me is out of the question. If you must know, I have a toothache. I will talk to y'all when I'm feeling better. My tooth is still messing with me. My tooth. And this is Sunday. Sunday, at 12:45 or 12:54 p.m." Now, y'all see that. That was at 12.54. Now, I get hit up later on that day. Later on that damn day. I'm trying to sit there and get well, and I get hit up. And I get mad. And I had to write the status again. I have a toothache, that means I can't help you, my teeth hurt, I still give thanks to the people who send me to get well soon, yada yada yada, telling people my tooth, my teeth hurt, my wisdom teeth are growing in, you probably, you say, why don't you get it pulled out, well I'm going to get pulled out, get them pulled out when I get the money, now I'm sitting up here telling people my teeth hurt, I don't feel well. Then I'm telling this I don't want to I don't want to talk to nobody. I just want to mind my own damn business. Can I mind my own business? I can't. I put up a status saying I'm not going to talk to nobody. Instead of people respected, instead of people respecting what I had to say, I get a message fucking up my day. My day went bad. My day was going great. My not wasn't going great because my teeth was hurting. I ain't feel like talking to nobody. 
Then I get a message from a, I would say friend, but she's an ex-friend because she got butt hurt because what, what I told her. Her name is Tink Jordan, and she got mad because I told her ass out. I wasn't mean, but I told her like it was. Like I'm gonna show you what she said to me because I think it was just straight bullshit on how she wanted me to call child services. She says, look, that's her, Tink Jordan. Joe, I need your help. Now, I told it. I told it. It was, it was Sunday. It doesn't show what time it was, but it says Sunday. Oh, you need help. How? Make a call. That's it. Make a call. They split her kids up. She tells me they split her kids up in foster care. That ain't my job. They ain't going to listen to some stranger. Oh, well, can you get these two kids back together? It'll be kind of on me calling uh, foster care or whatever to get the kids back put back together that's not my job I'm not the parent these are not my kids and she's asking me to call these people now I tell her I ain't calling these people and she writes have it cussed her out do whatever thanks bye she gets mad I said bye I told her bye I said delete please delete all my kids out for your shit too please thanks she got mad because I wanted to make a fucking phone call. And I write her back and I told her ass off. I'm not going to jail for her petty ass shit. I'm not the parent. And she gets all mad. Can't hardly take worth the damn. Now think about it. I'm in another damn state from where she is. She's in Florida. I'm in Tennessee. How the hell that's going to work? I told her I don't mind helping you. But there's a fucking limit to it. And she gets mad and she gets butt hurt. She kicking and screaming. Hey, hey, hey. Wanting me to call to get her kids put back together. That's a parent's job. I'm not their I'm not their father. I'm not their parent. That is her fucking job to do, not mine. Then I write that same day. And she mad she got mad as fuck and it's around seven PM Sunday. I write this again. Let me say this for the last damn time. I can't get your damn kids back for you. So stop asking if I can do that. I ain't calling no fucking place to get your kids put in some other place. I'm not a damn lawyer. I'm not going to jail for your ass. I have, to put, I have put it in two status. Said I'm not a lawyer. I can't get your kids back for you. I'm not going to jail for you. If you want your kids back then call a damn lawyer and makes no sense that people think I'm big name. I'm some big name lawyer. So stop asking me to get your kids back. Stop or call some fucking place where your kids are at. I'm one man. I'm not Superman. Shit. Get your, it's kind of sad asking me to get your kids back for you. Go get your go get yourself a lawyer. I'm not fucking I'm not a fucking lawyer. And she writes, This is her. This is still her. I never I didn't need you. I didn't need you too. Never did. But why'd you ask me to call some damn number? It makes no sense. Let me show you what she post up. Then she goes on her page. This is her page, Team. Kinda say, go to if you watch this video, go to her. And tell it like it is on it, cause I think it's bullshit how a mother is sitting up there asking people to get to do shit for her. If you're gonna be a p fucking parent, I don't think asking your fucking friends to do a parent's job, cause they ain't your kid, they ain't your friends' kid. This is what she put. I need everyone possibly a person on here who willing to help me reunite my two youngest that was removed. This is what she's putting up. She's putting the help wanted sign out. For people to call this people. Now, why should I call? Why should any of these people call for her? She's a mother. If you're a mother, you get your kids your fucking self. You don't ask your fucking friends to do it yourself. Think you're full of shit, man. You're full of shit, man. Let me tell you this. She brags to me 
all the time how much of a fucking dumbass her ex husband ex baby daddy whoever these motherfucking dudes are to her her baby daddies talking about how much of a dumbass and scum piece of shit they are I don't know these fellas and she's telling me this shit I don't know these dudes I don't know their side of the story but she's talking about them like dogs I don't know these dudes I can't I can't judge them because I don't know them. She tells me her side and starts thinking I'm supposed to, oh, I'm on your side. I'm not on your side if I don't know the full story. I'm not on your side if I don't know the full story. So stop sitting up there acting like I'm supposed to do shit for you. Then she talks about, uh, she's trying to get her kids, nah, yada, yada, yada. Hold on. And then I was like, hold on, if you're going to get your kids, then that's your fucking job to do it. Get a lawyer, do what the judge says, and get it done. Don't ask your friends to make fucking phone calls for you if you got your kids in fucking foster care. It's not my motherfucking job. Quit asking me petty ass shit. Now, I'm going to tell you this, because I talked to her one day, and I thought it was kind of fucked up for a woman that's trying to get her kids back. Her, her kids been taken away for, for a few months now, and she's sitting up there trying to get me trying to get me to feel bad for her and a few other friends that we know trying to make us feel bad for her. now this is fucked up because I thought okay how you gonna sit there and try to get your kids kids back and you pull this shit off this is a this is a pay uh, this is a what is this uh, I forgot when she got uh, I forgot my, my, I'm sorry because I'm in the moment and it pissed me off. She pissed me off. She got arrested. This is the rap sheet. where well, she got arrested. Oh, hold on. It didn't show it. Because I was trying to show the rap sheet. This is the rap sheet. Saying that she got arrested a certain day. She got arrested the 5th. I talked to her, I talked to her on the 6th. Talking about she's still trying to get her kids back. If you got arrested on the 5th, how the hell are you going to get your kids back now? You ain't never going to get your kids back if you got a fucking rap sheet like this. And let me show you what, what she did. Battery. Burglary. How the fuck are you going to get your kids back if you got a battery charge and a burglary charge against you? You're not going to get it. You're not going to get your kids back from that shit. You can bitch, you can moan, you can groan, you can do whatever. I'm not, and it's bullshit how you get mad at me over because I won't call a fucking phone number. It makes no sense, Tink, that you get mad at me and you blow up on me because I won't fucking call a phone number, but you're fucking up more than ever because you're getting yourself arrested because whatever some punk ass said down the street. You thirty, you in your fucking thirties. I'm in my fucking twenties. How's a fucking thirty year old sitting up there acting like a damn nineteen year old? Oh, it's bad. It's bad. Oh, I love my kids. I miss my kids. But you're getting yourself arrested, and you're asking your friends to do your fucking parenting job. What kind of bullshit is that? Be a grown up and get your kids yourself instead of asking your fucking friends. You're not even a fucking mother if you're asking your friends to do your parenting job for you to get your kids back. That's bullshit that, that I that you're asking me to call some fucking number to get your kids back together. That's a parent's job. A parent's supposed to call, can you keep my kids together instead of separating separating them? Why ain't you doing that if you're a fucking parent? You don't ask your friends to do that. That's stupid. You don't really want your kids that badly because one thing is, you can sit up there calling all your baby daddy's dumbasses. I don't even know their side of the story, so it's really unnecessary to talk shit. Doesn't matter how flat you make a pancake, there's still two sides of it. I just heard yours. I didn't hear theirs. So I really can't pass judgment. So that's bullshit that you trying to get me in some deep shit, trying to get me locked up because of your bullshit. That's fucked up. This has been Afro Joe. I want y'all to tell me what do y'all think about it. Is she a good parent or is she a bad parent? Tell it like it is. If you like what I got to say, tell me what you think in the comment or video response. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. If you think she's a bad parent, video response and all this. If you don't like what I got to say, you can kiss my ass and burn in hell again. Go on with that bullshit. Peace.